A little bit about Ayelo. Ayelo in Ghana is looks like this. It is shaped in this form. It is mostly sold on our markets and people buy it and eat it. They apparently it's supposed to help with diarrhea and uh, people claim it's got calcium and a whole bunch of stuff. My research shows that the inner parts of clay of this ILO are okay. However, the outer bits could be contaminated with Staphylococcus, some bacteria that can cause you to have intestinal problems and other stuff. But people eat it and maybe they do wash it before eating it or they scrape the, the, the outer bits off. The outer bit is not because the clay itself is, is infected but maybe in the handling from production to the markets is what causes the contamination of the clay. All right, so Ayelo in Ghana is, is what this clay is known as. And when you put it in water, it's clay, clay. That, that's the texture I can give. That's the, if you know what clay is, it has this plasticky kind of texture. And that, that is what you get when you, when you soak Ayelo in water. So from the research I had done, I was curious because I was wondering, bentonite clay, Ayelo, is they are, they are clays, they are all clays. So what was the association? So I started reading up on it and after going through scientific formulas, which, well, scientific formulas and all other stuff, I kind of concluded that Ayelo is bentonite clay. That's the short of it. So I, I can read, I'm going to read to you the little bits of research I did, what I can gather that convinced me of it. So it's, as you all know, it is, it's a soil material and it apparently has a high content of swelling material, which is known as metamoronite. And it is part of a wider range of clays known as fuller's earth, that's bentonite. The other minerals present in clay materials such are, are quince, felspar, gumstone, celsite, pyrite, and other oxides and hydroxides. You also have amorphous and organic compounds in the bentonite. The metamorolite mineral, which belongs to the cementite mineral group, where the members have an articulated layer structure and swelling properties. This part of that. Bentonite is a clay based material derived from the alteration over geological periods of time, glassy material emanating from volcanoes. And this glassy material are the tuff and the ash from the volcanoes. It is also derived from silica bearing rocks such as silica and basalt. Okay. You may wonder if in Ghana we have got volcanoes. We don't. But apparently there's a volcanic fault running in underneath the Volta region to the Côte d'Ivoire region. And we also have ash being coming in into Ghana from the the Cameroonian vo volcanic range, especially from the Saint Tom sound tom and the principal islands and the mount cameroon area so we get this volcanic ash coming in from there and it has been established that gold occurs in beremian rocks which are alongside volcanic belts and sedimentary basins in ghana and these deposits are queen's vein type and seraphic type so if you remember from what i said we get bentonite clay also from basalt and silica so and these we could have present plants felspen gemstone galsite and pyrite and all these other oxides so in in essentially we have bentonite clay and you can cleanse your hair with it
so yeah so the next time you see Ailo do not shy away and even if the seller thinks you're going to chew who cares you know you're going to use it for your hair so buy some try it what I'm going to do now is just break this into pieces pour some water on it and then I'll, I'll mash it up when I'm done I'll strain the liquid because it's rough we have some rocks that little bit of sand and other deposits inside you may find a bit of a leaf here and there but that's what I'm going to do then dilute it and then use it to cleanse my hair I'll show you when I, I do that okay then